Ladies and gents, what's up? It's BQ. It is the Impact Lounge. If it's your first time swinging by, hit that subscribe button for me, please. Lots of growth here on the channel. I really started uh, growing this channel in about March of last year. Not March, I'm sorry, about May. Um, had about 300 subscribers at the time, and now we are getting very close to 3,000. Hoping to hit it by the end of the month. If I can hit it by mid-February, I'll be okay with that too. But lots of good things going on. Speaking of good things going on, later today at the Impact Zone in an empty arena match, Josephus will be taking on Tim Storm, members of the NWA. A lot of the uh, subscribers here on the channel have asked if I would be covering and following the NWA. And I wasn't sure because I was not... Uh, totally, totally positive on what their um, their mission was and what the uh, structure of the NWA was going to be. But I think now after kind of monitoring what they've been doing, I definitely want to talk about it. So obviously I'm an Impact Wrestling channel, but there's going to be some room for the NWA. Might even be some room for uh, GFW if uh, Jeff Jarrett gets that going. But regarding the NWA, Billy Corgan was someone, and I think it's just, I think I speak for most of you that I really wanted Billy Corgan to take over, you know, TNA and Impact. I really like Billy Corgan. I really enjoy listening to him speak. I believe in his his vision, his ideas. And even with the Grand Championship, you know, he introduced it but didn't really get to see it through. I think if he was around, you know, we might look at that championship a little bit differently. But big Billy Corgan guy and was very disappointed when things didn't work out and, um, you know, with the lawsuit and he ended up moving on. I was really disappointed. He's since purchased the NWA and I don't, you know, many of us don't really know the exact, the exact mission because this is not something he's rushing by any means. In interviews, he said, you know, we're going to put together a roster, uh, you know, put it on free TV and by free TV, he was referring to YouTube streaming matches and I don't really know if it's more center, centered around the title at this point or if he's actually building up wrestler in, in a very slow build wrestler by wrestler and so far there's you know three names that have been associated with the NWA and we're invested in all of them so there's Tim Storm and he I don't want to say he was the inaugural champion. Obviously, he was not the inaugural NWA champion, but in the Billy Corgan era, he was kind of his guy. He didn't go to the indies and try to pick up, you know, an indie darling or, you know, he, they brought in a guy that they felt could, you know, best represent the NWA title in Tim Storm. The guy's in his 50s. He's a teacher. I don't, I don't remember exactly uh, at what level he, he's an educator at. Um, held the title with a lot of pride. But that was Billy Corgan's guy. He actually took the title off Jax Dane, uh, Will Cox from Veterans of War. And the first, cha the first um, you know, few, the few, if you want to call it that, they were building was Tim Storm and Nick Aldis, Magnus. Now, we saw Magnus on Impact Television earlier in the year for a few months. They try to make him seem like a big deal right away and it fizzled out real fast. Like it didn't work at all. It very quickly, no one cared about him. And then he ended up leaving the company. Shows up on Hollywood Championship Wrestling later, which I'm going to put um, in the description here a link to the fight app. And you guys can check out Hollywood Championship Wrestling. I, ho I hope to, uh, when I visit my family in California in the summer, I hope to... Um, to attend some tapings, but that's where, you know, Tim Storm was kind of basing out of um, Nick Aldis shows up, challenges him, and they do a tremendous build for this. You people know I'm a sucker for great marketing, and the the marketing behind the NWA, the digital marketing, everything has been so good, and they, you know, they have this 10 pounds, pounds of gold series where it really invest you in the product and what's going on they're not rushing anything and that's what's really really nice um you know whether you look at wwe or you look at impact like it's very often to see the world title scene get very very uh congested instead of just really focusing on those that one feud 
between two guys. There's always someone else in the mix. And you, you guys know where I'm going with this, you know, triple threats and, um, and stuff like that. They're kind of like really focusing match by match on each feud and making it really matter. So again, I don't know if this is, um, you know, the, the, the goal at this point is just to market the championship or if they're just, you know, building each individual wrestler, uh, character by character, either way, you know, I, th I think it's both really cool, but Tim storm eventually takes on Nick Aldis. The, I, I watched the match on Facebook. It wasn't the best match in the world, but I was so invested in it, you know, with the build and the 10 pounds of gold series that they do. I really cared, and I was probably looking for, more forward to that title match than I was a title match in a while. Because when you watch matches on television, it's just, oh, next week, you know, this title's getting defended. Like, no rhyme or reason whatsoever. This actually had a very um, 80s-esque build to it. So I was really looking forward to it, and I was very invested in it. Um, Tim Storm wins the match. The finish is a little flat. I don't think it, it came off the way they drew it up. Little flat. Match itself, not a five star, but I enjoyed it and I was invested in it. Um, later, Tim Storm, and I'm just kind of, you know, recapping here what's going on. Um, Tim Storm defends the title against Josephus, which was at Tried and True Pro. I actually want, really wanted to be at that show because um, it's a few hours from me. I wasn't able to get there, um, but I really wanted to be there for that show and Tim storm wins. And, you know, later, uh, I believe he did an open challenge at a, uh, an independent show. And that's where Nick Aldis took the 10 pounds of gold off him later on Hollywood championship wrestling. Uh, Josephus, you know, attacks Tim storm, you know, pr pretty brutally gets suspended for 45 days. Cause you guys remember Billy Corgan when he was doing interviews, with for TNA and everything, he, you know, and he would, some of his ideas creatively where he was, he was like, wrestlers are going to be held on screen. They're going to be held accountable. You can't push a referee over. You can't attack someone, you know, ruin a match and then just show up the next week. Like nothing happened. So this guy, you know, jumps Tim storm and he's suspended for 45 days in this 45 days, instead of just saying, okay, we're not going to hear from this guy anymore. You know, um, he he and he goes on this like spiritual journey and gets a spiritual advisor. This character is so freaking genius. Like I'm I'm giddy over it. it just it, it's a female and she's bald. You know, Mr. Clean bald. And it's his, you know, spiritual advisor for 45 days. I hope he kind of keeps the character around. I mean, that's how like really cool the, the whole thing is. Josephus, his character for the most part is like built for the indies, but you know, if I had to compare him, think like Bray Wyatt, but actually makes sense when he speaks. Very clear, very poignant, very, uh, you know, um, insightful, intellectual, you know, like it, he's going somewhere with what he says. Does a really good job. Um, great talker. The spiritual advisor, I don't believe, speaks. So here's something that was really, really genius was that Tim Storm when he was getting ready to take on Magnus and his whole 10 pounds of gold series, you know, they got us invested in his, his, um, you know, his, his, uh, home life, you know, his teaching, his family. And even during the holidays, you know, they, I think they might've streamed it on YouTube or Facebook, where his you know, family is wishing people happy holidays. I think I might, might've been for Thanksgiving. Um, you know, they has to have his wife, his kids. So this is the real genius thing. To us at the time, it's, you know, it's whatever. It's just some stuff from Tim Storm. Now, fast forward to where he actually is kind of in this blood feud with Josephus. Um, and I believe w the way, it, you know, I wasn't, I didn't pay too close of attention to this, and I'm sorry. I believe he had to give up his NWA World's title rematch with Nick Aldis if he wanted to face Josephus. Um now the, the the real genius between those promo, I mean, with, with not the promos, but the videos several months ago, was that recently Josephus goes to Tim Storm's daughter's house, and and the camera footage is like, um, what do you call it? like like almost like night vision, um, 
I don't know if he went there or if it was the spiritual advisor. Uh, I, I don't quite remember. But goes to her, his daughter's house. His daughter's not home. Now, if if something like this were to happen on television and he just, oh, the, you know, he goes to his family's house, what do we care, right? But because they took the time several months ago to introduce us to his family and get us invested in that, now it makes sense because we were able to put a face to the you know, to the house and everything. Oh, was, you know, this is his daughter. We know that J- Tim Storm is a family guy, a family man. So now he's really tugging at, you know, tugging at his, pulling his rope, pulling his string, pulling his chain. I guess that's not the the uh, reference I'm looking for. Uh, tugging at his heartstrings. I'm just going to stop talking there. <laughs> but um, you guys know where I'm going with it. But Gets them pissed off, and they're really building like a blood feud here that has nothing to do with the title. I mean, it kind of does, but kind of doesn't at the same time. So they're going to have an empty arena match in the impact zone. A lot of people have been hoping that Billy Corgan was going to come around in one way, shape, or form to be involved with impact again. I don't know exactly what this means if there's a partnership. Obviously, I think there's mutual interest on both sides. Billy Corgan said that, you know, he had been, he uh, talked to, um, at Norholm quite a bit and it seemed like they were they were trying to come up with something and hopefully they do I, god I really hope they do but they're gonna have this empty arena match we got one of those I want to say it might have been 2016 um Braxton Sutter versus at Rockstar Spud which was really really good that was um they did a great job with that so I think this is going to be really interesting too. I don't know how they're going to stream the match or, you know, at what capacity we're going to we're going to be able to watch it, but they really built this feud so well, so perfectly. And then with the championship, they made you care like you're invested, you're invested in what they're doing and invested in the characters. Like they're really recapturing magic that is gone in professional wrestling. It's gone on Impact, it's gone on WWE. Ring of Honor does very little storytelling from a creative standpoint. Um, you know, you, you could argue Lucha Underground does a good job with that stuff, but that stuff as a whole is missing. And it seems like that's really what they're tapping into and making us care about the matches, care about the characters, making us care about the title. So, you know, kudos to them. Again, I'm a sucker for great marketing, and they're just doing such a good job with this. And um, can't wait to see what the next step is. So I'm going to put a link again to the Fight app in the description here. If you guys want to download it, um, check out Hollywood Championship Wrestling, and you can look up the uh, Tim Storm and Nick Aldis Championship match. You can do that. I'm going to try to put the link for uh, Josephus, um, the video where you know, they went to his daughter's house and he's got the spiritual advisor and everything. So I'm going to try to put that link in there too, if I can find it. I was looking for it this morning and was struggling to find it for some reason. So I want to put those up um, so you guys can check them out. And we're going to we're gonna talk some NWA here on the channel. It's obviously not going to be to the point of impact, but, you know, a little bit, we're going to discuss it, um, you know, and, and follow what's going on with the 10 pounds of gold and going on with the characters and, and Billy Corrigan and Dave Lagana and everything, they're just, they're just doing a great job. And I hope you guys are all supporting what they're doing. And if you're not, you know, definitely get on board. This video went a little longer than I had intended it to. So my apologies for that, but definitely check out what's going on. Um, and again, as always hit that subscribe button and talk to you next time. Peace.